Well, we're looking at a large, typical coastal drainage, and there's some examples of smaller blocks that isolate the fallers where they're probably chasing the value. That creates challenges for brushing, and it's also the potential for stacking, which is also a concern for health and safety of fallers as well. There's times that you have these little pod blocks where there's barely enough room for two fallers. Sometimes there's barely enough room for one faller. When you're in isolation like that, if it takes more than 10 minutes for people to get to you, it's really dangerous because if you get hurt, you break your leg or something. Access is really, really important to my job. Some of the things you can do are try not to have pinch points where a faller can't fall safely. Try to make them as wide as possible with escape routes. But at the end of the day, the fallers need to check that area out. Maybe that's an area where you have to have an alternate plan. 